Today's tip, how to import a Codices Take Bow into EasyBuilder Pro. Since the HMI and Codices are programmed using separate IDEs, you'll need to generate and import a tag file in order to access Codices variables within EasyBuilder Pro. To generate a tag file, right-click on Application within your Codices project, select Add Object, and click on Symbol Configuration. Within the following pop-up, click Add, and when prompted, select Build to verify the application is error-free. Select each symbol you would like to export within the Symbol Configuration tab, and when finished, click on Generate Code within the Build menu of the IDE. This will generate an XML file in the same location where your Codices project is saved. Before we import this file, select the Login button to download this project to the controller. Once the download is complete, click the Start button to place the PLC in Run Mode. To import this tag file, open an instance of EasyBuilder Pro. Within this application, I'm using a CMT 2078X, but be sure to select the HMI model that you have in your possession. When the application loads, select the New Device slash Server button in the System Parameters. If you are working within an existing application, the system parameters can be accessed via the Home tab. Within the following menu, ensure that WinTech built-in codices is selected within the Device Type drop-down list. If not, click on the center of this drop-down menu to search for this driver. Once found, click OK. While this driver is selected, click on the Import Tags button. The following menu may display, prompting you to select a preference as to how string data is mapped to variables within your application. Variables with type WString map each character to a word, whereas type String requires one byte per character. If you have not defined any string variables within your application, you may select any option to continue. Within the file browser, locate the XML file generated by Codices. This file will be named after your project, but it will include the string .device.application. Once found, click Open, and you should receive a message stating that the tag import was successful. If you add additional tags within your application at a later point, or if you change a tag name, please rebuild your project, ensure that those tags are selected within the Symbol Configuration object, and then click Generate Code within the Build menu to export these tags. Download this project to the controller and set the application in run mode. Import this tag file using the Import Tags option within the system parameters of EasyBuilder Pro, and you can then assign these tags to an object such as a numeric display or bit lamp. Thank you for watching this quick tip created by Wintech USA support. For more information about our software and our products, please visit forum.wintechusa.com.